In this activity, we are going to write a program to display a digital clock in the web page. And we are going to use the concepts of date object and its methods. So in this activity, you will write a program which will display a digital clock in the web page in 12 hours format. And this digital clock will show the updated current time every second without refreshing the web page again and again. Okay, so let's go to our first task. And here it is asking us to include a div tag in the index.html file and provide a class clock for this div. So let's do that. Let's go to index.html and to this index.html after this h1 element let's add a div section so div and we want to give it a class and let's say the class is clock okay so here we have created this div now let's give some hard coded time in this div so let's say 10 20 30 am let's save these changes Let's go to a web page and when I refresh the page, you will see that it is logging that hard coded time here after this head section. Okay. Now we have to add the CSS for this div. So let's do that in the style section. Let's use the class name of this div, which is clock. And then let's add these CSS. So font size is 45 pixel then color is coral border and again color should be coral it should be two pixel solid then we have to add margin for top zero pixel for left auto finally we have to add the width and let's say width is 300 pixel let's save these changes here let's go to our web page and let's refresh the page so this is how our digital clock will look in this web page let's go to task 2 so create a function show time which will not take any parameter so let's create this function function show time And inside this function, we want to create this date object to get the current date and time. So let's create a variable. Let's call it time. And to this time, we are going to store the current date and time. And we get this current date and time by using this date constructor. Okay, so this will return us the current date and time. So let's log this in developer console to see if it is working. So let's log this time variable. And if we go to this web page, and refresh it okay first we have to call this show time so show time now if we refresh the page it will log the current date and time here so today is Sunday October 25th 2020 and current time is 12 hours 13 minutes 34 seconds now we have to get hours minutes and seconds from this date object so this is returning us the current date and time which we are storing in this time variable now from this time we want to get the hours minutes and seconds and if you remember let me remove this console.log statement from here and if you remember from our previous lecture we have this get hours to get hours from a date and time we have get minutes to get minutes from the uh, date and time and we also have get seconds to get the seconds from the date and time so we want to extract hours minutes and seconds from this time variable so let's create a variable h and to get the hours we say time dot get hours and this get hours will return the hours from this date and time which we are storing in this time variable okay and then once it returns we are storing it in this h variable similarly for minutes and seconds we have get minutes and get seconds so let's create variable m and inside this we are going to store the minutes returned by this get minutes method similarly let's create this variable s and we are going to store the seconds here so time dot 
get seconds. We also want to create a variable am pm to store am or pm based on the time of day. So let's create that variable and let's call it am pm. And in this initially let's store am. And finally create a variable current time and construct the time by using this hours, minutes and seconds and store it in this current time variable. So let's create this variable current time. And let's construct the time using this hours, minutes, seconds and AM, PM variable. So R, then we want to have this semicolon, then minutes, again we want to have this semicolon, then seconds, and then let's say we want to have some space, and then this AM, PM variable. Let's log this to see how it looks. So console.log, we want to log the current time. Let's save the changes and let's go to our web page and refresh the page. So 12 hours, 16 minutes, 57 seconds. If I refresh the page again, 12 hours, 17 minutes, 3 seconds. Okay, so it is working as expected. And this AM is because we have initially stored AM in this AM PM but it should be PM right because after 12 in the afternoon it should display PM let's see how to work this so let's go to our next task now it is asking us to write a logic inside this show time function to show time in 12 hours format so currently this time is in uh, 24 hours format Okay, but we want to display time in 12 hours format and then we should also display this AM or PM based on the time. So if hours is greater than 12, then show its corresponding time in 12 hours format and it should be appended with PM. So if time is greater than 12, then it should be appended with PM and that time should be displayed in 12 hours format. So in 24 hours format, 1 o'clock is 13, 2 o'clock is 14 and so on. So instead of displaying 13, 14, 15 like that, we want to display it in the 12 hour format. And for that, first we are going to check if the R is greater than 12. If it is greater than 12, then we simply want to subtract 12 from this R. Okay, so if let's say it's 1 p.m. So in 24 hour format, it will this R will be 13. So we want to subtract 13, 12 from 13 and the result will be 1 and we want to assign that result back to this h variable. Okay. And we also want to set this am pm variable to pm. Okay. And if the r is 0, 0, that is 12 midnight, then show hours as 12 followed by am. So in 24 hours format, the 12, mid, 12 in the midnight will be shown as 0, 0 hours. Okay, so instead of showing 0, 0, we want to display 12 and it should be followed by AM. So again, we are going to use this if condition and inside this we will check if R is 12. I mean, this R is 0. Okay, so we are checking if the value of this R is 0. If it is 0, then we want to set this R's to 12. And we want to set this AM PM to AM. Okay. Let's save these changes. Let's go back to our web page and let's refresh the page. So 12 19 51 AM since it is 12 o'clock, but if it is 1 o'clock in that case also, it will display 1 instead of 13. Okay. Let's go to our next task. So here it is asking us to show hours, minutes and seconds in two digit format. So if I go, if I go here, if I refresh the page. So currently, uh, since none of these hours, minutes and seconds is less than 10. So it is displaying in, two, I mean, the time is being displayed in two digit. But if hours, minutes or second is less than 10, then it will only display one digit. So let's refresh this page again. So still it is in two digit. So instead of displaying one digit 
for you know if the r minute or second is less than 10 in that case instead of displaying only one digit we want to display two digit so we want to prefix that time with zero let's refresh the page again so 53 seconds let's wait for seven more seconds and let's refresh this again so here you see the second since it is less than 10 it is displaying only one digit so when the hour minute or second is less than 10 in that case it should be prefixed by zero so here it should display zero four okay if r is less than 10 then it should be prefixed with zero and same goes for minute so let's write the logic for that so if r is less than 10 then we want to prefix it with zero so zero plus r otherwise we simply want to return r the value which this r value you know this r variable has and let's store it back to this r's variable okay so this here we are using the ternary operator and this is the condition so if r is less than 10 then return the value of r prefixed with zero otherwise if it is not less than 10 then simply return that value and we are storing it in this h variable okay let's do the same thing for minutes and seconds okay let's save the changes let's refresh the page so 34 36 let's wait for some time so i'll pause the video so if we refresh the page now here you can see the second when it is less than 10 it is prefixed with zero and same thing will happen for hours and minutes okay let's go to our next task so pass this show time function as a callback function to set interval function so what we want to do here is we are calling this show time okay so let's do one thing first let's first do this second part of this task so assign this current time variable to the text content of div so here we are logging that time but let's say we don't want to log this time in the developer console instead we want to display it in the div which we created so for that we are going to use this query selector of this document object so document dot query selector method and to this query selector method we are going to pass the class name of this div which is clock so here now we have access to this to that div element and for that div element we want to set its text content so text content equals this current time so let's copy this and let's use it here okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now when i when i refresh the page it is showing the current time okay now this time should be updated every second so now if i refresh the page it will show, show that current time if i refresh again it will show that time if i refresh again it will show the time but we don't want it like this what we want is this digital clock should display the current time without refreshing the page so the second value should change every second so now it is 31 then after one second it should display 32 after one second it should display 33 and so on and that too without refreshing this web page okay so here we have to refresh the web page to get the current time but we don't want it like that this time this digital clock should get updated every second without refreshing the page and for that we are going to use the set interval function of javascript okay so set interval and to this set interval we will pass this show time as the callback function and then the time interval as 1000 milliseconds that is one second so this set interval function will call this show time function after every 1000 milliseconds that means after every second okay so the set interval function will call the show time function after every one second and then this in inside the show time function we are updating the text content of this div so here after every one second the text content of this div will get updated to that current time so let's save the change let's refresh the page and now you will see that time is updating after every one second without us to refresh the page okay so here we have created a digital clock and we are displaying it in this web page and it is in 12 hour format 
and the time is being updated every second without refreshing the web page. So I hope this activity has helped you understand how to use the date object and its methods in a real world JavaScript project. If you like this lecture, like this video, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends.